Let me wear my, uh, my chopsticks. Here we go. If you're wondering why I do that, I, it just dry wood in my mouth just tastes weird. That didn't come out too good, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here in Carson, California yeah. at one of our favorite Mexican restaurants. Yeah, so we're doing some local eats. And so yes. this is going to be a fun little video because we have so many local places. There are. And so it's going to be it's going to be a yummy episode. Oh, yeah, of course. And we are starting at Diana's yeah. Mexican Food. This place has been around here as long as I can remember. And I, and I lived in this area for a long time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, they open early in the morning till late at night. They specialize in menudo. Yes. Uh, two gold tamales. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, my favorite for breakfast is chorizo. I'm mm -hmm. going to get that. Mm -hmm. Always no wait. This is the one we come to. Family owned. So yes. we're here to mm -hmm. support the family business. We always are. Yeah. So we're going to jump in and get some breakfast. They have supplies here to make your own tamales, which is really cool. Yes. Different uh, California chiles right there. New Mexico chiles. And of course, the uh, corn husks. As much as you want. Look at that. wide array of desserts. They even have your pan dulces, which are your sweet bread that you get in the morning. And this over here, they have all of your different salsas, your, your different salsas, your masa, your guacamole. It has everything here. Ooh, they have even flavored masas. That's kind of interesting. Then they have all of your juices and sour cream and everything here. Have you seen this symbol before? This is where it comes from. They sell these in our local supermarkets here. And I even believe for Disney, their tortillas are from Diana. So that's pretty cool. And it's like here is the original. And these tortillas are not very expensive at all. So say for some flour tortillas, I think they're only like less than a dollar. I think they're like a dollar or something. All different sizes, from different burritos sizes. to mm -hmm. taco sizes. They usually have the prices on them, but I don't see them on here. Of course, like all your chips. Three dozen of tortillas for dollar ninety-nine. Wow. I mean, it's and such a deal. This is fresh too. You can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good deals, especially if you come to this location. And you should see their menu board. Did you take a picture? I, I did. You know, there is one location in Gardena, but it's a lot smaller. And I think, um, I'm not sure if it's a full service restaurant right. or just tortilla bakery stuff. I'm not sure. And this is where I come to get my champarado. So they have champarado, they have uh, Mexican chocolate and mocalita. I haven't tried that one before, but that sounds delicious as well. One thing uh, about Diana's, it used to be open 24 hours, but now they have regular set hours. I think they close at 10 or 11 p.m. now, but that's all subject to change. They also have two large free parking lots here for the restaurant. Is there anything else? Um, they open very early. Oh yeah, they open early, right. So early risers that want breakfast, no problem. One thing I forgot to mention is they also have party burritos, three foot or six foot, those crazy ones you see at parties, and also the tamales. They're one of the best ones that we've had. They have pork, chicken, beef. In fact, we're gonna pick up a dozen mm -hmm. before we leave here. But this is what I got for my breakfast. The chorizo with egg, with uh, refried beans and rice. They, I'll give you some chips. You get a choice of corn or flour tortillas. I'm actually a fan of uh, flour tortillas. So I'm gonna get this ready and try this out. All I like to do is put a little bit of salsa on my refried beans, like that. Got my rolled up flour tortilla, almost looks like a, like a cigar, right? Let's try this out. Oh yeah. This 
this has great pork chorizo flavor. It is a tiny bit on the spicy side, but really it isn't too bad. You can see how much of a rich chorizo color it has. The refried beans are nice and smooth and creamy. The forest of rice. It's got little, little carrots and peas in it. Fluffy. This is an excellent breakfast. You can see the serving size. They didn't hold back. Look at the amount of chorizo that's on here. It's a crazy amount. And of course with the chips, one of the things I like to do is hit a little with that refried beans and that little salsa mixture. Man, I'm gonna attack this breakfast full force. I'm hungry. What I got here is a champanado. It's one of my favorites. It is made, it's a very slight taste of chocolate. You can taste the cinnamon in there and it's made with like flour or sometimes masa, depending upon where you get it from. They hand you it here, absolutely delicious. And you gotta try that, it feels really good on a nice cold day to warm you up. I got the menu. Okay. And oh. they have two different sizes, right? Two different sizes, this is the large. We get all of the goodies, so they don't cut back on the goodies at all. Um, they do have a little seasoning pack they usually give, but I usually don't take it because I like it the way it is here. Maybe a little bit of onion or something, but I'm good for the way it is. I believe almost all of the meals come with that salsa and chips, and I did get those flour tortillas too. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Holidays and weekends, people line up with their own pots. Yes, they and do. Come up for the menu. For the menu down here. Right. And it's delicious. That was an excellent breakfast. It was delicious. So there's our tamales to go. We got a dozen. And Good. Yeah, we got uh, four pork, four beef, and four chickens. And we've tried them all. They're delicious, they and they are. come out warm. Yes, So yes. there's a heads up. They come out warm. Yeah, and uh, twenty six dollars and forty cents for the dozen tamales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all ready and made for you, just to go to a party. Yeah. Oh, well, well, you know what we like to do is we like to just put them in the freezer, yeah. and then take them out one by one for a quick breakfast mm -hmm. or uh, lunch. How long do you uh, microwave it for, babe? Uh, if it's frozen, maybe around. 45, 50 seconds on each side. That's Maybe it. That's what no, I do. That's it. Uh -huh. A little bit of tapetillo, right? And we're set. Or some cholula. Mm -hmm. you're, yeah, you're set. We're set. Okay, well, that wraps it up from Diana's. If you're here in the South Bay, check this place out. They mm -hmm. are in Carson. Uh, all the places we visit today or in this video will be in the description. Video, yeah, in the video description. Got choked up. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for our next stop. Didn't know tamales got you that way, babe. It always does. Wow. That and the chorizos. Nice. For lunch, we are here in Gardena for their gem. Yes, their local gem here in Gardena. Mm -hmm. And would you know it? It's at a bowling alley. Right. We are here at Gardena Bowl. We are. And their coffee shop has one of the best Japanese and Hawaiian foods. Yes. So we know what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. So we're going to share it with you guys. Yes. Let's go inside. This is their menu. Here we go. When you first open it up, you hit the a la carte and the breakfast items. I know they're very popular here for breakfast. Here's their a la carte. Here is their dishes. It has a little bit of everything. So if you don't know what you want to eat, you're going to find something here for sure. Yeah. If it's your first time here, you're going to spend about five or ten minutes looking over the yeah. menu. And 
so far, everything we've had here, it, it, it is delicious. So we're going to have to try to narrow it down to see what we want. I mean, look how crowded it is. I mean, people yeah. are here for a reason. Yeah, it's and it's around good. 2 p.m., so it's way past lunchtime. So yeah, it's pretty busy here. I have to try out their oxtail soup. I've tried it once before, and I remember being very vegetable-based, which I love. Let's try this out. Oh, yeah. This is comfort food all the way. It is a very vegetable-based soup. Absolutely delicious. You can taste all of this luscious greens in this soup. Ah, oh, wow. They have shiitake mushrooms in here. They have bamboo shoots, they have carrots, and of course, they have your oxtail right here. Let me go ahead and try this one out. Look at the, they give you good size too. Mm. Great oxtail flavor. That soup is delicious and they have your ginger and your parsley with it. So we're gonna dump this in and doctor it up. This is the way I like my oxtail. And they have the hot mustard that I can add with my shoyu. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and give this a good little mix. And I also like this oxtail because it has peanuts. Yeah, yeah. So I have my parsley in here, I have my ginger in here. Let's go ahead and taste this dashi out. Oh yeah, this one is a really good green vegetable based broth. We had one at the Cal. Remember that being a little bit light on the broth, the one at um, King's. That one I remember it tastes very, the star anise really comes out. This one, the vegetable really comes out. I like all three. Let's see, to put it in order, it's kind of hard. I like this one because I'm a vegetable person. The um, King's is pretty good, but this one is excellent. This is the beef teriyaki steak. Look at this. It is a huge serving over here. They give you some uh, shredded cabbage with a little Thousand Island and some steamed broccoli. Of course, a, a bowl of white rice. So let me try this out. This is not your typical thin sliced beef teriyaki. This is actually a steak. I think it's almost like a, like a thin ribeye steak. It is grilled to perfection. The teriyaki glaze is like the thicker kind of sweet glaze on it. So it really tastes good with the steak. And wow, you can see how, how many pieces they have or actually how big the steak was when they sliced it up. And it's only cooked one way, right baby? The yeah, steak one, is only cooked one, one way. way. So there's some good close up of the steak. A good little bit of fat on there. It's put a lot of grill marks from the meat. Yeah, this is delicious. Of course, the white rice, you gotta follow it up. Good rice. And to note, if you're really hungry, you could get this as a combination and add some tempura, some shrimp and vegetable tempura. I believe you could get some sashimi as well with it. So you could really make this a really big combination plate. But for lunch, this size beef teriyaki is perfect because we have one more item right here. This is the fried Simon. Oh my gosh, this looks really good. Look at these noodles and look at how much chashu. You can get it with like three or four different option proteins in here. We decided to get with the chashu. Look at these noodles. They look so good. I'm gonna first try this chashu right here. And to note, the mm -hmm. serving size is humongous mm -hmm. on this. It's definitely shareable. Yes. I, know, I don't know if they make that chashu in-house, but they make a, like a lot of things here in-house. Like they make their Portuguese sausage in-house. 
try out these fried noodles. We typically would have ordered like the regular salmon with the soup, but we have the oxtail. Mm -hmm. So we decided to give the fried salmon a try. Mm -hmm. Has that great like wok flavor to it. That stir fry along with some onions here. And the meat, let's get this with a piece of meat. Oh yeah, this is your meal. You can see how the serving sizes are humongous. It comes with rice. This is a really good lunch portion, but this can be easily a lunch dinner or even two lunches because this serving size is just massive. This is delicious. No matter what sauce it is, it's delicious. You gotta try it. Yeah, and they do give you that hot mustard along with it if you, if you want. A little bit on my chashu. Oh yeah, and the hot mustard is solid. I'm full. That was delicious. Oh yeah, we oh, got my gosh. plenty for dinner tonight. We do, and the prices are very reasonable. Oh yeah, very uh, reasonable compared the, to other restaurants. The sure, portion sizes are humongous. They are, and this broth really brought me back to what my dad used to cook mm. in his toy soup. With toy soup is a vegetable soup, Chinese vegetable soup. And it this broth really brought me back to that. It was delicious. So it gave you that nostalgic it did. taste, right? It did, uh -huh. And this here, this place has been here for a long time. It has been. And there's so many other places popping up, like the new places, but I mean, these are the old local places that you don't want to forget about. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And Excellent they food. Definitely appreciate our yeah. support. Yes. Community support. Yes. Yeah, so we have one more place in our gems yes, episode we do. here. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. stay tuned for that one. For our third and final dinner, mm -hmm. we are here in Torrance, California. It's a nice city gem specializing in prime rib and steaks. We're here at the San Franciscan. We've been here many a times and we know their food is consistent, it's delicious, and it's very affordable, yes. which we like. Oh, yeah. And we want to share with you guys because I know if you're going to be here at the local, you really love this place. And again, this is one of those old school places right. that you shouldn't forget about. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of gives you that old steakhouse vibe from mm -hmm. Vegas. It does. Right. But mm -hmm. we're here in Torrance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go inside. What's great about here is during the week for small parties, you don't need reservations, just walk ups. Large parties, recommend reservations, especially on the weekends and holidays. Here's their menu right here. Oh, there we go, since 1963. Yeah, so it's been here before I was born. Let's take a look at this menu here. You can see we have some appetizers, salads, pasta, chicken and seafood. But we are here about the prime rib and their steaks. And they also have combinations as well. And that's one of the combos that we usually get. It's like the prime rib and fried shrimp. That is a great combo. And of course, you have a full bar, as you saw as you were walking in. So a collection of wines and full-on cocktails as well. So uh, I know what we're going to get, but we'll just look at the menu anyway. Once you sit down, they give you fresh sourdough bread, nice and warm lots of whipped butter so let's go ahead cut this up you can see it well i we can see it i don't know if you can see it it is steaming is it oh yeah yeah nice look at that yeah. oh yeah nice and warm pillowy soft let's put in some of this butter and we did order our meals. We did already. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. We yeah. did get some appetizer, the uh, fried clam strips. We did. And right now, as you see, it's not so busy. It's a little bit before, it's actually only like 4.30. It's really, really early. But by the time we leave, you'll see this place is packed. Let's try this out. Mm. Nice stuff. You can really taste that sourdough. Delicious. What we love about this steakhouse, it is very homey feeling, has a really long bar. You can tell regulars come here daily or weekly. The booths are the red vinyl, kind of like golden steer feeling. 
the lights are not extremely bright lights, but they're not dim either. So you can really you can really look at your menu without any extra lighting, like sometimes we do in steakhouses. I love these lamps that are here. It gives it that nice classic, like antiqueish feeling, and it's. And these tables, just so you know, they actually move. So they move the tables in and out when you get out of the booth. It's almost like at Laurie's yeah. Prime Rib. They mm -hmm. move out of the way so you could easily right. get in and out. Yeah, instead of like scooching down like you do in these round booths, they actually will move the table so you can get in and out of the table. One of our favorite appetizers came, the fried clam strips. These are a fan favorite over here they give you some uh, tartar sauce as well as cocktail sauce i like both so i usually alternate between the tartar and the cocktail sauce there we go crunchy mm. it is hot and crispy we love these things they kind of taste um they definitely have like a slight clam flavor to it, but because it's breaded and deep fried, I mean, it, you could deep fry anything, it's going to taste good, right? So, yeah, we, we just love these. If you never had uh, fried clam strips, definitely recommend you trying them out. I think you're going to like them a lot. Look at these. Good size. I like the cocktail sauce. Go dip it in there. One end cocktail sauce. Comes out cream. The clam doesn't come out with it. And then switch to the other side. Tartar. Mm -hmm. Nice, crunchy, good clam flavor. These are so good to snack on. We yeah, really are. like these. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're like the uh, French fries of the sea. Yes. I just made that up. Good way of saying that, babe. Thanks, babe. We have rotating soups of the day, and today it is cream of broccoli. I like broccoli. I like cream. So let's see how it is. It's very creamy, very broccoli. <laughs> so it is exactly what I'm expecting in this soup. Any pepper or anything? No, they might use a dash of pepper. And they do give you some saltine crackers on the side. Yeah, it's good. I got a good size salad with some Thousand Island dressing. So I had, look at that, how fresh that looks. And this Thousand Island dressing is chunky. Mm. Very fresh tasting. I know sometimes they use the sliced tomatoes and sometimes they use cherry tomatoes. But very good, very fresh. So this is a good beginning. And this size, the bread, the soups, the salad, it all comes with your meal. So there's no a la carte or anything like that for this. As long as you get a, like what we got, the prime rib combo, and we, you got the ribeye, it all comes with your meal. So it's a good food. Yes. This is the bone out ribeye. They also offer a bone in ribeye, but I opted for the one without the bone. Look at the size of this. It is huge. And those grill marks are pretty impressive. I'm impressed with it. I got the baked potato with everything, which is the sour cream, chives, and butter right here. So I'm going to get the baked potato ready, and then we're going to dive into it. I got the prime rib medium. Comes with the creamy horseradish and the regular horseradish. Always an au jus. If you want some more au jus, just ask for it and they'll put it on the side for you. The rice pilaf and fried shrimp. So I had the prime rib and fried shrimp combo. You get three pieces, right? Three, three big butterfly shrimp, mm. cocktail sauce. This looks amazing. Just looking at this makes my mouth water. Oops, it's dripping oh, with the other au jus. Let's see it was over my rice. So look how nice. I know you guys want a bite of this piece right here. We're gonna go ahead and dip it in that really non-salty gravy or au jus. Gonna get a little bit of that creamy horseradish, stick it right on there. And this is gonna be the bite right here. You guys ready? Mm. 
A piece melts in my mouth. I have to chew a little bit. How sometimes I say, no, no chewing needed. This one, you gotta chew a little bit. That creamy horseradish just brings out that flavor. I like to get this rice peel off, stick it in this au jus right here. Mm -hmm. This au jus is perfect because it's not salty, but it gives you that really good beefy flavor in it. Of course, I got that fried shrimp. That looks very well fried. Here's my cocktail sauce. Oh, crispy. Mm, crunchy. That cocktail sauce has a little bit of kick to it, along with this fried shrimp, which tastes like a shrimp. You, can, you know it's crispy and fried, but you still taste that shrimp flavor. Oh, yeah. This, uh, for a killer price. Once we tell you the price, you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to come here and order this right now. It is just amazing. It's a very good could be romantic meal, could be just an every week meal, going out with your hubby, with your baby, with your friends. This is the kind of meals that you want. I got my baked potato all set. Look at that. Looks beautiful. The butter is just melting in it because the baked potato is so hot when I took it out of the foil. Now, you know, for those that really don't know that the ribeye is the same as the prime rib. It's the same cut. But except one's roasted and the other one's on the grill. So let's uh, let's go for this. Cuts nice and easy. We got that perfect medium going on. Here we go. The steak is lightly seasoned. I think with salt and pepper before they put it on the grill. If you want it more aggressive, just get some table, table salt and uh, pepper right here. Or you could ask for steak sauce, which they have. For me, it is perfect. It is good as is. The steak is very juicy. It is full of beefy flavor. Exactly the kind of bite that you look for when you get a nice steak. So yeah, this is huge. I don't think I'm going to finish it off, but I'll give it a good try. Because I still have fried clam strips here. And I might take one of your fried shrimps. Okay. I might ball them over there. These are one of our favorite pies. This is this Bamoni, which is, I believe it's strawberry. There's a green one pistachio. right here, which is pistachio. Uh -huh. I believe this may be a vanilla it or something. Be, but it's got and a chocolate. A little bit of nuts or something mm -hmm. in it. Maybe? And with nuts, and it has, I know this is a cherry, so that right. little red part is and cherry. A nice crust at the bottom. Yes. So dig on in. Yeah, this is what we always get over here. We just split yeah. it. It's perfect. We do. And it's four. If you can't really tell, it's actually four layers. You see the, the strawberry? You can see that little green again. Is the pistachio, vanilla, and chocolate. Here's the crust. Mm. It is an ice cream cake. It is a Neapolitan ice cream cake with a splash of pistachio. Perfect way to explain it. It's one of our favorites. It's your turn, babe. I'm ready. <laughs> this is the perfect capper to our all beef dinner tonight. It's been a lovely date. So thank you for coming with me, babe. You're welcome, babe. Love you, babe. I love you, I that is a wrap from the San Franciscan. Yeah. Hope you enjoy these three local gems here in the South Bay. Ones that don't sleep on. These are excellent places. Right. And we mentioned before, these are the places that you know about. Yes. But you kind of forget about because mm -hmm. there's so many eating options. Mm -hmm. But these have uh, survived the, the test of time. Yes. And uh, a lot of, of visitors afar mm -hmm. or locals come visit. Mm -hmm. So definitely hit up these three if you're local to here. Yes, and this place is getting crowded now. So it is. we're done. A lot of people getting crowded, over here. Yeah. So uh, thanks everybody for watching our local gem adventure and we'll catch you guys in the next one.